Hello and welcome back to SAP Plant Maintenance Training. Uh, this is Farooq. So we are starting the new session. In this session, we are looking. We're going to see the ma different master data. Uh, I will start with the work center. We have got basically four different master data. We've got work center, then we've got functional location, then we have equipment, and then the equipment task list. What I've done here is I've given you the menu path for each master data plus the transaction code. Uh, you can, there's also something, there's an interesting transaction in SAP, which you might, uh, if you don't know, you can uh, take note of that. It is called search underscore SAP underscore menu. So what it does is basically you can put a transaction code here. So let's say I want to create work center. So I know the transaction code, but I don't know what is the menu path. So I can use this one CR01 here, press enter. And now it should give me the menu paths. So normally in SAP, there can be more than one way to f go to one transaction. So that's why you can see there are a number of different menu paths, which are all leading to the same transaction CR01. So this way you can basically find a menu path for any transaction. So in this one, we will start with, we will create a work center. In the next session, we'll create a function location in, and in the another such session we will be creating both equipment and the equipment task list so let's start with creating a work center <coughs> work center can be any place where some maintenance can be done so it can be a machine it can be a uh, location it can be a workshop uh, it could be a lathe machine so let's start with the transaction called cr01 so we go to transaction and cr01 so the plant, the plant I'm using is 1000 work center. So let's say tool shop. So what is the work center category? So work center category. So we can do a drop down and see uh, machine, machine group, labor, uh, production line, zone, say let's say a station. So it's a place, maybe a shop where we're going to do this activity. So we done the plant work center. We given the category and now let's press enter. So once we press enter, we will be going into the next uh, tab called basic data. So what we have here is like we can give the person who is responsible. What is the location? If you got a subdivision of locations in our plant, we can use this one. So let's say we give a tool shop so this is our description so what we need to do is we need to give what is the usage so usage is basically plant maintenance so if it is uh, plant maintenance so we're going to give 004 which is for plant maintenance only otherwise for production the value is triple double nine so it can be used so now what we need is we need to say what sort of uh, times the, because whenever we do some work there might be a setup time we can be a so I'm going to take some standard value key which is called SAP1 pretty standard so it will give us three different options of setup machine and labor so what we're doing is like so whenever we're doing some job so we'll tell what is the machine time and what is the labor time Uh, this is also another key SAP standard key which is saying like maybe so the hundred percent of time will be done will be spent on the on the job so we're not saying that there is any uh, admin work will be done in this one so as this is a, so in this one we have got setup time and uh, we have assigned a standard value key one standard value key can have up to six different parameters which can be set up machine labor etc etc so once we have done this one, let's go to the next tab, which is default values. So we here we are going to say control key. Control key is basically again, again, which has got some inherent qualities or you can say characteristics. So what we are going to select is PM01, which is plant maintenance internal. So 
So these other fields, I'm not uh, going to fill them up at the moment. But if you need, you can fill them up. It's wage type might be coming from your HR wage group again. What sort of skill labor you have got in your uh, in 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 your shoe uh, tool shop? Uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sort of a time. So we're going to say like yeah, so much time takes place. Capacity. So we've got another one, the uh, another tab which is called capacity tab. So again, here we can go and see what let's say what sort of capacities have we got. So if we got say suppose we got some machines here, so we've got capacity for machine, and then we can also say here capacity for the labor. Uh, for the moment, I will not say anything for the labor. I will just keep this one. And then we have some formulas, set of formulas, and then processing formulas. So these are basically something which will calculate some times or the capacities. Scheduling. Uh, capacity category. Capacity category again because I have taken machine over there. So I am just going to take machine here. Uh, and then press enter. Coming back here into the capacities. Uh, these are basically the formulas and if you want to see some detail of the formulas you can just select this one. Click on this one. Formula button and it says set up into operation split. So that's the formula we can maybe look at if we have got some time to see where it is coming from. Scheduling. In scheduling also we have got similar setup and processing. Uh, in costing. So we need to have a cost center. Basically we need to say okay so whatever whenever this tool shop or this work center will be used to do something we need to where is the cost going to be allocated. Who is going to pay for it. So that's a cost collector. So now we have got this one and then we have got some sort of a uh, we need to give some sort of activity type. This is something coming from finance or controlling. Uh, let's see the options here. Setup. Machine. And labor. So you should be having these values from your HR or finance colleagues. And again, the formulas. So we can say, what is this one? Setup. Then we have got machine. Uh, machine time, and then the third one is labor. Again, if you want to see, you can just uh, select this one and go into the formula tab to show you what is the formula. Uh, so that's about it. So this one, once we have done this one, so our work center is complete. So let me just save it. Once I save it, so that work center tools in Plant 1000 has been created. So that's about it for this session. And uh, in the next session, we will start on the next master data which is functional location. Okay, see you next time. Thank you.